Today we'll be taking a look at the flagship K1 Max 3D printer made by Creality. The K1 Max is designed to be fast, efficient and easy to use with its built-in smart features. The printer is almost ready to go out of the box. There's a bit of unpacking to do with removing the foam packaging and removing the protective film around the printer. Along with the printer in the box, we have a quick start guide, a spare hot end, four rubber pads, the handle for the front glass door, a spool holder, and one kilo of the Creality Hyper Series PLA. It also comes with some tools, including a pair of cutters, a scraper, the USB stick, and a few Allen keys. Only a few steps are needed for the setup. Starting with the touch screen, it has a connection port for the ribbon cable that is plugged in. Then the screen slides into the slots of the front of the frame. The handle is installed and bolted onto the front glass door and the door is kept closed with magnets. The rubber pads are placed underneath the four corners and these help reduce vibrations and keep the printer stable. Inside the printer there are three transport screws that need to be unscrewed and removed from the bed before turning on the printer. These are simply unscrewed with the included Allen keys. At the back of the printer, the spool holder is installed, the power cable is plugged in, and the 3D printer is ready to be turned on. On the initial first power up, the printer will run through the setup process, then self-diagnosis system will check and test the printer's operation. Once this is complete, the input shaping control is carried out by the acceleration sensors to optimise the tuning and print quality. The printer will then measure and set the print bed level automatically. Giving it a solid and clean modern look, the frame of the KY Max 3D printer is made from a die cast aluminium alloy and finished with CNC machining. This is enclosed with acrylic panels at the side, a glass top and a glass front hinge door with a magnetic latch. Having the enclosure is good to keep a controlled internal temperature, which is perfect for printing demanding materials like ASA, ABS or nylon. For other filaments like PLA, the glass lid top is removable and it's recommended to remove the top when printing with low temperature filaments if the chamber reaches over 30 degrees. At the front of the K1 Max, we have a USB port for plugging in a USB stick with prepared sliced files. At the back of the printer, there's an Ethernet port if you need direct network connection. Or the files can be directly loaded to the machine over Wi-Fi and stored on the internal memory. There's 8 gig of onboard memory, which can store up to 400 sliced model files. On the machine, the files are accessed via the responsive 4.3 inch color touchscreen or controlled through the software on a PC. The user interface is easy to navigate on the touchscreen and we can control the printer, start prints and view settings and print progress. When using the touchscreen to start a print, it's good to see there's a 3D model of the object on the screen, which makes it easy to select the correct file for printing. Taking a look inside the K1 Max, we have a large build volume of 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters, which is plenty of room to print large models or multiple prints. The print bed platform is kept level and stable with three lead screws, resulting in accurate layers when printing. On the bed, we have a magnetic flexible build plate with a smooth PEI matte print bed surface. The flexible plate makes it easy to remove 3D printed models once they have cooled simply by flexing it and removing the printed part. Reinstalling is easy as it has two handy alignment screws to ensure it's always placed back into the correct position. I like this smooth build plate and found applying a thin layer of glue stick worked well on the surface, especially with prints that have many separate details. The bed is AC heated, which heats up quickly and it reaches 60 degrees in 90 seconds and a maximum temperature of 100 degrees. This print bed is fully automatic, unlike other printers where you need to make adjustments for the Z offsets or adjust bed levels manually. So there's nothing to touch. The K1 Max takes care of the complete process of the bed leveling to ensure perfect first layers. Filament is loaded onto the spool holder and filament is fed up into the printer through the Teflon tube. While this setup takes up space at the back, it does help the printer look neat and tidy. But if you'd rather the filament spool holder placed at the side, there's an included file to print a separate spool holder. The filament comes through the back of the printer into the enclosure where we have a filament runout sensor located. This then feeds into the dual gear direct extruder. The extruder has a locking switch on the top to lock and unlock the gears. 
which makes it super easy when changing filaments. To add filament, we need to unlock the extruder by pushing the lever to the unlock position, then push the filament all the way through to the extruder and relock the lever. Then on the touch screen, we need to press on extrude. Changing filament is just as easy. On the touch screen, we press retract and let the hot end heat up. The printer will automatically retract the filament, then unlock the extruder to remove the rest of the filament. Filament is melted by the hot end, which is equipped by the newly developed ceramic cartridge heater, and it comes with a 0.4mm nozzle installed. It reaches 200 degrees in 40 seconds, with a maximum temperature of 300 degrees for more demanding filaments. The 3D printer combines a nimble core XY motion with a lightweight printhead for less motion of inertia. And this allows it to achieve impressive print speeds of up to 600 millimeters a second. On the printhead is the built-in AI LiDAR. This will scan the first layer on its own and pause printing immediately if something goes wrong. For cooling, a large fan on the printhead with air ducts cools down the freshly printed layers. Plus there's an internal 18 watt side fan which adds to the cooling. Although we did find the additional part cooling fan and rear exhaust fan a bit loud when on full speed. There's a small camera located on the inside of the top corner and the AI camera can watch for print failures, foreign objects, debris or issues with the print surface. The camera is also used for monitoring of prints which can be viewed on the software or remotely on a mobile device. It's a really handy built-in feature especially if you're away from the printer and need to check up on a print. During a print, the camera will capture time-lapse footage of the model printing, which is stored on the internal memory. These files can be exported from the 3D printer and viewed on a PC later. Inside, there are also some LED lights, and these are great for lighting up the internals, which allows us to see what's being printed. The lights can be turned on or off when needed, either from the touchscreen or remotely in the software. For the first print, we're printing the included test benchy boat that comes pre-sliced and ready to print. This benchy is printed with the included white hyper PLA filament, and it's a good test to confirm the printer's working well. When seeing the K1 Max 3D printer in action for the first time, it's insanely quick. The speeds are so much quicker than older style 3D printers. The benchy boat is completed in 16 minutes, and the final print quality is great. To test out more prints, we will slice them in the included software. The Creality Print software is easy to use and from here we can prepare and slice 3D models for printing. There are default presets for slicing files which we found worked well. These can be customised by adding and editing new profiles. Once we have a model file sliced as a G-code file, it can be sent directly to the K1 Max over Wi-Fi. This file is then stored on the 3D printer's memory. This system is so much better than having to move files from a PC to a printer with an SD card or USB drive. Within the software, we can control and monitor the one machine or multiple 3D printers. This is where I think it would be great to have multiple k ones set up for larger production work. With the file sent to the printer, we can select the 3D printer on the network and start the print. In the software, we can see printing information, temperatures, and watch over the print via the camera inside the printer. The next print is of a jet engine propeller model, and this is printed with the white Hyper PLA at 300 millimeters a second. The Creality Hyper PLA is designed for high speed printing and faster cooling while retaining high precision. I found it gives excellent results with the default profiles within the software. The finished prints turn out well and the Hyper PLA produces clean, strong and high quality prints. A good first layer test is the chain link mesh as there is many individual pieces that are linked as the layers progress. This is printed with red Hyper PLA at a 0.2mm layer height. Removing it from the build plate was made easy by gently flexing it around the edges and lifting the model off the build plate. With the print removed, all the pieces move freely and the KY Max produced an impressive print result. For the next print example, we needed to make four simple 30mm test spaces. These are printed with black generic PLA with a 0.25mm layer height. 
Printing these parts on the K1 Max at 300mm a second only took 1 hour and 3 minutes. Whereas in comparison, printing at a 0.25mm layer height and at 50mm a second on the older, original Ender 3, these parts would take close to 5 hours. In that time, we could run the K1 Max at least 4 times and produce 16 parts, while the older Ender 3 printer would still be printing, only to produce 4 parts. So the K1 Max with its speed can replace multiple printers and being able to print faster we can make more in less time and still retain the same print quality. After using the K1 Max I found it to exceed expectations and it's an excellent printer that looks great and works perfectly out of the box. It's easy to set up, great for small or larger prints, production work and for making rapid prototypes. At full speed the fans are a bit loud but it's a small compromise compared to all the benefits this printer gives. It's an easy to operate machine and the included Creality Print software is user friendly for slicing models, remote monitoring and being able to send files via Wi-Fi is another big plus. What I like most is the speed of the K1 Max as it's able to complete prints quicker, which is a major advantage and I can get more done in less time and is especially a huge time saver when creating project designs and prototypes. Overall, I'm impressed with the K1 Max's usability, build quality, prints produced, and the print speed that saves time. It's well suited for beginners or advanced users looking for a high quality, fast, and easy to use 3D printer.